following contest is a six-man tag team match. And at a combined weight of 441 pounds, the team of The Miz and R-Truth. The WWE Universe more than ready to see this one start. This is going to be good. Here comes six foot eight, 385 pounds of chaos. And their partner from Sheryl's Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Terrifying power with unmatched brutality. And ever since his return, Strowman has been on a path of destruction. Witnessed some impressive feats of strength over the years. Well, the good news is the next one could be mere moments away. Here comes trouble. The Judgment Day has arrived. One of the most dominant groups in WWE. And at a combined weight of 370 pounds, the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and J.D. McDonough, The Judgment Day. The Judgment Day growing more dominant every single night, and their accolades grow with every match. Now, this is a group that's almost impossible to prepare for. The Judgment Day plans for every scenario, always having each other's back. Well, they create chaos, and Judgment Day thrives in chaos. And here he comes. And from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Carlito! This is a competitor who isn't happy with a win unless they get a handshake from their opponent afterwards. A real respect for the business. Can they even work their hands properly? Apparently, they lack a spine. A competitor with his share of detractors, but he wants to prove them all wrong here tonight. These teams have been waiting for that bell to ring all night, and here we go. When you have this many superstars in action, you know it's about to be an arduous match for all involved. But the team that can ultimately weather the storm will be the one celebrating tonight. He's got something coming. Inverted suplex. Got to respect the strategy to work over the arm. And the knee. into the ring. What's he gonna do here? Oh, that hurt! The thing about six-man tag matches is they tend to get wild and crazy the longer they go on. But I have a feeling that whichever team can slow the pace and grind things to a halt might have the advantage here. Stay in control of the opposing team and style of this match and reap the rewards of victory. His shoulders are down! Gets the shoulder up loud. 
What's it going to take? That's still a quick kick out at this point. Blast off! He paid for that one! Oh, man, big time! Getting his shoulder up before two. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. Oh, stop right to the hand. And if the first stomp doesn't send you the message, the follow up ones definitely will. into the corner. And the second rope. Lifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Watch. 
Look at the confidence from The Miz. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be showboating right now. Tag is made, and he's coming in. Two. And you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Picking the leg. Are we gonna see it? There it is, figure four leg lock. I'm not quite sure. Trying to find a way out. The pressure is reversed. This is agonizing. He's been placed in the corner now. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Oh, he's got him where he wants him. Here we go. And there's the cover. Quick shot after one. Wow, I thought this was over. Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. And this is just a vulgar display of ruthlessness. Now look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. The WWE Universe matching Balor's energy here as this match continues. Able to get there in time. Hoisted up and spiked. Here's a cover. Could be it. An exhausting victory, but a win nonetheless. Here are your winners. J.D. McDonough, Ben Balor, and Carlito. Got to give these three credit for an amazing victory here tonight. This win is huge. I'm sure they'll be posting about this on social media all week long.